Hey, welcome to another edition of Wordy Screencast, where today you are going to learn how to create a blog using Google Sites. So you've already, this is today's um, assignment sheet. You should have already watched the video about what we're going to be doing in the next few weeks and about blogs in general. So you're doing the step two, creating the site using Google, uh, blog using Google Sites, and you decided you're going to watch the video. So you're going to start here. You're going to click this. It's going to be sites.google.new, and it should take you straight to this link. I'll move myself here for now. All right, the next step, and I'm going to follow step by step so you can see the written version of this too. So I just did step one. So some of you might have clicked in and joined here. All right, you're already here. Click the plus symbol in the lower right corner. So I go down here, click this little plus sign. You're not working a little slow today because everybody is home working on schoolwork. Yay. Or, hey, like your parents might be home doing work from home. The internet's getting bogged down these days. If you're gaming, stop. Well, you're not gaming. You're watching my amazing screencast. But during the day, try to limit your online gaming because uh chewing up the internet. That's my PSA for the day. Continuing on. All right, so the next step. All right, it says untitled site in the upper left. You're going to type in your last name. So I want you to title it your last name and blog. So up here, I'm going to put Wards, apostrophe S, put the apostrophe S because it's your blog, Rothwell's blog, Grasso's blog, Rodriguez's blog. It doesn't matter. What matters, your last name and blog. All right. Now, this next step where it says um, site name. You can use Ward's blog, like you, your last name blog, like you just did, or create something interesting, like, you know, Wardy's Words of the Wise, or Wise Words, or I love Wildwood. Uh, hope to get to the beach this summer. Anyway, I might call it Wildwood Days. Something that's unique to you. So instead of Ward's, I could leave it this way. That's cool, but I want to be a little more pizzazz, have a little more pizzazz here. So Wardy's, I'm going to call it Wardy's Wisdom. All right, next thing, where it says page title. I want you to call it remote learning blog, uh, especially for my classes. We're going to do, after this personal experience argument essay, you're going to kind of get to research your own topic. So we're going to create a separate page in, in this blog for that. So for this one, remote learning blog, and yes, spelled it right too. Awesome. All right, you're pretty much done except for Everybody likes to personalize it, make it look, you know, unique to you. So, two things to do. Themes. You can click up here. And that's where I got to move myself again. All right. Keep it simple. Go to Aristotle. Ooh, looks like a nice building there. The diplomat version. Uh, I kind of like the impression version here. The other thing you do, change the header type. So, right now I'm just banner. I can make it title only. Boring. Large banner. Just makes this a little bit bigger. I'm going to keep it the way it is. The other thing is I can change the image. So I could upload an image, select a different kind of image. I'm going to leave it the way it is, but you have that option. All right, the last thing we really need to do now is kind of publish your site. So you hit publish in the upper right. And I know I'm going pretty fast, so hopefully you realize you need to pause this as you go. Hit publish. Wardy's Wisdom. All right, it gives it to me already. I'm just going to keep it. Um, could change that if you wanted to. It gives you a, a unique URL, so slides.google.com backslash coskk12.org backslash whatever's here. People will get right to your site. You have your own little website now. Any uh, people can view anywhere comments with school. Keep it this way, so I myself or Mr. Rothwell or Grass or whomever can get to it. Hit publish. Your site's published. You could click this little preview. Hey, here's what it looks like. Awesome. Here's your last step. All right, you're going to click this little link thing here to copy the link to your URL. And this is important to complete today's assignment and turn it in and get credit for it. So you're going to click this. There's my link. Copy it. Then I'm going back to this. I'm going, it says here, go back to the top of the page. So go back up. Blog link submission. All right, these directions are down here. 
I'm just going to do this. So highlight this with my cursor. Done. Insert. Link. Control V. So I've already copied my link to my site. Copy and paste it. Hit apply. Now, myself, Sir Rothwell, Grasso, we can click this link right here once you submit it. And we'll be able to get right to your site. No questions asked. Makes it easy on everybody. Then you submit this assignment for today and you are done. If you have questions, um, by, all means, by all means, send us emails. Our Google Meet office hours, perfect time to ask myself, Mr. Rothwell, about that. Uh, other than that, 40 out.